All right, guys, welcome back to the next iteration in this DaVinci Resolve training course. Today, uh, we're gonna go over a quick little setting change and preferences uh, that I think uh, will be advantageous and absolutely game-changing for when you get into editing. Um, so let's go ahead and knock this out really quick. This is a quick short one. And uh, by the way, if you do not already have the paid version of DaVinci Resolve, I do recommend you go ahead and get that, okay? Um, get in the paid one. If you're really serious about video editing, uh, it's totally worth it and uh, a lot of the course will rely on the paid version for those that are really serious about their learning All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the software All right guys, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve and a few chat settings that we're gonna do is Go ahead and go up here to DaVinci Resolve at the top corner And then we're gonna go over to where it says preferences first and then where it says memory and GPU go ahead and click on that and then what we're gonna do is make sure that the GPU processing mode right here is unchecked where it says auto and make sure this says CUDA and not OpenCL, okay? That's gonna really help with NVIDIA graphics cards. If you have one, it's gonna make things a lot faster. Now the next setting that we're gonna do is also make sure that our graphics card is selected. So maybe by default, yours is set to auto right here. And uh, we definitely wanna uncheck that, okay? We wanna uncheck it and then select our graphics card so that we can pick uh, the best one for our uh, machine and environment, okay? And so once you've done all that, go ahead and hit save here in the bottom right corner. And then, um, yeah, there we are. And that will apply when you restart the computer or when you restart this software, so to speak, just like that dialog mentioned. And then one last setting that we're gonna make is actually up here in the top left corner where it says Dimension Resolve again. I'm gonna go over to keyboard customization. A lot of things that I notice with a lot of new video editors is that they don't actually make custom settings that really help with their workflow. And so I'm gonna show you the ones that I have done. There's only three buttons that we're gonna program here and it's gonna make your editing significantly better and faster and you guys are just, you're just gonna love it, trust me, okay? Let's go ahead and jump back into the software. So once you get into this page right here, uh, you'll see this keyboard customization. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna program three buttons. We're gonna program Q, W, and S. And as you can see, as you click on Q here, you can already see that it already has something associated with it. We're gonna change that. And also W has something as well. We're gonna change that one. And then S, we're gonna change that one as well too, okay? So let's go ahead and go over to the Q. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and click on this space right here. Uh, actually click on the word where it says source timeline viewer. And then go ahead and click on the X and clear that out, okay? So that Q is now not associated with anything, all right? So I just clicked on the X. Trust me, you're not gonna break anything. You're good to go. Go ahead and hit save there. And this is gonna ask you for a new preset name as soon as you do this, because you're making your own custom settings. So you can just call this my keyboard or whatever, my settings, okay? <clears throat> so once you've done that, now you have your custom setting and we're gonna go over to the W one as well. And we're gonna go ahead and clear this one out. So go ahead and click on that dynamic trim mode. And here it is over here on the right. Go ahead and hit the X here and clear that out. Save. And then lastly, we're gonna go to S as in Sam on the keyboard. Click on that and go over to the right. And where it says S, X set out that one and clear that one out. And here we have now W or a Q, W and S all, they're not, they have no application right now, okay? So for Q, uh, what we're gonna do is go ahead and click on all commands right here. And then we're gonna search for one called start to playhead. And I think it's under ripple here. So if you expand ripple and you can see that that one is already set to whatever this control plus shift is by default, go ahead and clear that out and then click in there and then type Q on your keyboard, okay? Save. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do search up here at the top, exit out that one. Right here again, we're gonna type in end to playhead. And again, we're gonna go ahead and click on the X right here, clear that out, and then type in W, okay? Save. Now there's one last setting that we're gonna make, and this one is gonna be for slicing video or the razor, okay? So for this one, click up here again and hit the X button on the right side and clear it out. And then type in Razor. And as you can see, it's set to control B, hit the X button, clear it out, click in here and type in S as in Sam on your keyboard. All right, save. Now, 
that is really really cool and let me show you guys a quick demonstration of what we just did okay so hit close so go over here to the very bottom where it says edit i'm gonna give you guys a quick little snippet of what we're gonna do in the edit page click on edit and then as you guys can see in the top left corner uh you should see all of your media go ahead and drag in a video clip here like such actually let me get a longer one so you guys can really see like this one here we go so as you guys can see uh, there's this long video clip as I click and drag my playhead across here. Before to cut video, you would have to click this to, to like do like a to do like a blade cut, and then you would have to like come right here and do something like that, and then do something like that, like that, like that. Uh, that that is okay, but you see how there's a lot of clicks, and then you got to come back to here, and then you got to actually like move these around, and that that is really really bad. Or you select this one and you hit backspace on the keyboard that is really not optimal okay so let me show you guys essentially what we just did so we're going to control z all of that and undo what we just did let's say you move your playhead here and you want my clip to start right here where i'm turning my head you see how i'm turning my head there so let's say i wanted to start right here now i can just hit q and you see how it automatically shifted all the video to the left and trimmed it and sliced and did it all in one take okay let's say i wanted the video to end right when i look at the camera here now i can hit w and all of this down here is gonna trim back to this playhead. So that's gonna define the end point. So I hit W and it brings it back, okay? So let me run that back. So from here, if, you, if I hit W here, it's gonna bring all of this back to here. Boom, you see how I see that? Okay, undo. And if I hit Q, it's gonna bring the front end to, the, to this point. Boom, okay? Same thing here. Boom, that now became the beginning of my video. So I just want to show you guys a really good use case for what we just did and why that is going to make your video cutting and splicing significantly better. And of course, now you can do your, you can do click, S, click over here, S, click over here, S, click over here, S, and so on and so forth. You can do things really, really quick. So you can go boom, 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 boom. See how quick we're able to do those slices other than going to here and then trying to go boom, 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 boom. And then you gotta go and take that piece and then hit the hit backspace, like, anybody got time for that, okay? So I hope you guys found that it to be very, very useful. And uh, you know, that was pretty much, that was pretty much everything I really wanted to show you guys with settings and preferences. Uh, it's gonna really help you guys really when we get into the edit page and later down the road. But that is the sauce, that is the keyboard shortcuts that really make uh, for much better editing, okay? So I will see you guys in the next one and I can't wait to uh, share more DaVinci Resolve tutorial stuff with you guys, okay? All right, we'll see you guys on the next one.